Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's get right into this video. We are trying a McCart Poly Gel kit. This kit has 12 colors in it and let's just open it. First of all though, look at this packaging, so cute. I love this pastel rainbow, it's so cute. Okay, first of all, packaging obviously so good mccart has been stepping up their game all poly gel tube colors are literally like black mccart has been stepping it up with the colored tubes and i really like this because imagine like putting these up on a shelf and just the color is so pretty anyway we have a 180 grit hand file we have the base coat and top coat the poly gel brush and underneath we have dual forms which I'm not going to be using. And here are all the poly gels. Let's get swatching. So here are all the colors and I am absolutely impressed. They're all so beautiful with that pearl essence look. Let's just get right into this nail set. All right, guys. So the giveaway has ended and congratulations to the winners. In this video, we are doing a really blingy, well, I would guess... I guess it is kind of blingy, but it's not on every nail, you know what I mean? So I guess you could call this a blingy, classy Christmas set. That's what I would call it because the colors aren't Christmas colors, but it is very like, I don't know, just classy, wintry, Christmassy. Yeah. Also, Merry Christmas Eve to anyone who celebrates Christmas and happy holidays to everyone else. I didn't add the nail prep in this video because my phone was running out of storage and I had to pick and choose what I wanted to record. So yeah, we kind of skipped the nail prep, but if you do want to see how I do my nail prep, it's in all my other videos. We just started this video off by removing the shine from the nail tips and then going in and adding primer and base coat. So after the base coat has been cured, I'm going in with the white shimmery poly gel and I'm just putting that at the tip of my thumbnail and then I just got my slip solution which is 70% um, isopropyl alcohol, I'm using that as my slip solution and then I'm going in and smoothing out the poly gel. I'm only putting this white color at the tip of the nail because I am doing an ombre. And then after that is all smoothed out, I went ahead and cured that in my nail light. And then I'm going in with this pink shimmer poly gel. And I'm using this color at the base of my nail. And I'm just going to blend that up into the white. It's kind of like a baby boomer kind of nail set because of the pink and white. It's just like a basic ombre. But what amps it up is the shimmer in it. And I really think the shimmer adds to this like wintry um, kind of vibe to these nails. And I really like that. So now I am moving on to my pointer finger, just using that white at the tip of my nail. And once again, I forgot to put on base coat. Um, please remember to put on base coat <laughs> before you even start. So yeah, I had to scrape that off and go in with the base coat because I was like, you know what, I need to put base coat on these nails. I always forget to put base coat because what happens is I'm doing the thumbnail first and I usually just paint base coat on the thumbnail because I don't want my other fingers to get, you know, dust or anything on them. Um, so, but then I end up forgetting to put base coat on and then just going in with poly gel. 
yeah it's bad i need to like i just need to figure it out <laughs> so anyway i'm adding this white shimmery poly gel to the tip of my pointer finger but i'm doing this whole nail this white color so i'm just doing two beads because it helps me make the apex a little better i didn't record it because I think my phone accidentally stopped recording because I ran out of storage. <laughs> but I did add the white poly gel near the cuticle area as well. So now I'm going on to the middle finger and doing an ombre once again just like how I did on the thumbnail but I'm adding a little pizzazz to this nail because after I'm done smoothing it out I went ahead and cured it in the nail light and then I'm going in with my stamping plates. I got these on Amazon, they're Christmas stamping plates, sadly I only got to use them once and like Christmas is already over. <laughs> Christmas is literally tomorrow and like I only got to use these once, but it's okay next year. Next year, right? So I'm just using this white stamping polish that I got from Born Pretty and my clear stamper that got ruined. Yes, it's still ruined. You can kind of see that it's kind of blurry. I did the thing where my sister told me to file it down and add top coat to try and make it clear again and it didn't really work. It was still really blurry. So yeah, I'm gonna buy a new one because this clear stamper was amazing <laughs> basically on the middle finger i just used this um i don't know one of the cute little designs on the stamping plate and put that on the white part of my nail because i'm gonna go in with the pink shimmer poly gel and ombre that over the stamping design and i really liked how i did white on white because at first i thought am i gonna be able to see the white stamping design but um you you are able to see it and i like how it's very subtle Now I'm just going in with the pink poly gel and ombreing that up into the rest of my nail. I accidentally used like a lot of poly gel for this part, so I had to scrape some of the pink off. Um, yeah, I really need to work on that. I always use way too much poly gel and I end up having to take it off after. Yeah, something I also need to work on. So I hope you guys are having an amazing Christmas Eve if you celebrate that. And I'm having a good day so far. I just went shopping for some groceries because I wanted to... Um, I told you guys in my last video that I wanted to just drink some hot chocolate and watch a movie with my family tonight um, for Christmas Eve. And then I also wanted to get some snacks. So this morning um, I went to the store and I thought it was going to be like packed full of people in there. But actually there it was kind of like regular to a lot of people but it wasn't that bad so i was kind of surprised but i think i beat all the people traffic because <laughs> i went at like um 9 30 so yeah so i went in there and i got a bunch of different snacks for tonight's movie i'm very excited after that i came home and um yeah and i'm editing But anyway, we're moving on to the ring finger and I'm first going to start off by doing the pink poly gel near my cuticle area and then I'm going to blend that up into the tip of my nail. I'm doing, this finger is going to have a clear tip because in my last video when I did my other hand, I really liked how the ring finger was so perfectly clear. So I wanted to do that in this set to kind of have them match a little bit because it is on, you know, it is on my hands. Two different sets still on my one body. <laughs> so I made this nail to have a clear tip because I kind of wanted to match the other set, but also because I was really obsessed with how clear it was. And then I got my snowflake glitters and added just a couple big snowflakes in the middle there. Then I went ahead and cured that in my nail lamp and now I'm going in with the clear McCart poly gel and encapsulating my whole nail. But anyway, yeah, I'm very excited for tonight. I'm very excited for Christmas tomorrow. <sighs> I'm just ready to chill. I'm ready to relax and enjoy some family time and opening presents. Oh, I'm just so excited. I hope you guys are excited too. I hope I'm going to be able to sleep tonight because you know when you're just so excited for something that you just can't sleep 
and you stay up all night until you eventually fall asleep or something and then you wake up super early because you're just you're just so excited yeah i'm afraid that's gonna happen to me like i just want to go to sleep so time can go by faster so i can wake up sooner i'm excited to give my family their gifts i'm just super excited for that So anyway, on the pinky nail, I'm going in with the white poly gel again and putting that at the tip. I'm basically doing the same thing on the middle finger on the pinky nail. So yeah, white at the tip and then I'm going in with some stamping designs. And then I accidentally um, put on a little bit like of the excess stamping part. It kind of got smeared a little bit. So I went in with my Q-tip and some acetone and kind of gently rubbed off the smeared area. And then I took a little section and just applied that back over to fill in the gap. And it turned out pretty good. You can't really notice. And then I went in with the pink poly gel and finished the ombre. Now I'm just going to encapsulate the ombre nails, my pinky and my middle finger, as well as my thumb. I didn't record my thumb because my phone was going to run out of storage, but I basically just did an ombre, and but without the stamping part. So I just did an ombre on the thumb and then, yeah, I encapsulated those nails. I loved reading your comments about what you guys were going to do on Christmas Eve. I just thought they were just so wholesome and so nice. And I'm glad I get to know your plans for Christmas Eve because it's just so, I don't know, it's just so joyful. You know what I mean? It's a joyful time of the year. <laughs> So after I'm done encapsulating the nails, I'm going in with my McCart Dust Collector and my hand file and I'm just going to reshape these nails. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested in this McCart Poly Gel Kit, I definitely recommend it. Everything works so good. The poly gels are so nice. The colors are so nice. I love the shimmery aspect to these poly gels. They're just so nice and you get such a big like amount of poly gels and I highly recommend it. It is so, th this kit is just so nice and it's so beautiful too. Like. This is a display kind of kit, you know what I mean? Because of how pretty it is. I still have some other McCart poly gel kits that I'm going to try and do videos on soon. So if you guys are interested, I recommend it. All the information for this kit will be in the description. You can use the code NAILSBYVIC for 15% off. Yeah, I do recommend it though because you do get a lot. You get, you get a lot of bang for your buck. <laughs>
Okay, so after I'm done shaping and filing all the nails, I'm going in and adding some gems. I'm using this um, rhinestone gel that I got on Amazon, and it honestly works pretty good. I think it was only five dollars but i can't really remember it'll be in the description but i'm just gonna paint some of that gel on and then paint some top coat on after that and without curing i'm gonna go ahead and place in my gems i did a full finger i did a full nail gem design um i haven't done this in a while the last time i did this wasn't even on my channel i did post a picture of of that old set on my instagram like a long time ago if you guys want to see it it's somewhere in my instagram that's the only time i did a full bling nail and wow it was a struggle um that first time i did it it was an absolute struggle and that's why i haven't done it since but now i have like the right equipment i have a nice wax pencil some nice bling um bling gel which really helps um doing these bling designs because it really holds the gems in place so if you have trouble if you like doing gems and you have trouble with the gems like sliding around a lot i definitely recommend you get some bling gel because it really helps and keeps the gems in place anyway so when i did a full bling nail the first time ever it was so hard and it took me so many tries i wasted so many gems because of how many tries it took me but this only took one try and it turned out so beautiful i absolutely loved it like i want to do it so i want to do it so much more after i did this whole nail i got kind of tired so i didn't add any bling on any of my other fingers but that's okay i left a lot of this in because i really enjoy like watching the gem placements i think it is so satisfying so i'll let you guys enjoy that So after all the gems are placed, I cured that nail and now I'm going in with some top coat and finishing off this look. The top coat obviously really brings out all the beautiful shimmer. This is such a beautiful set and I really, like I said before, I really love how that stamping design is very subtle because it just adds to the classiness of it, you know what I mean? And this clear nail, come on, I can't get over how clear this poly gel is. McCart clear poly gel, you need some if you like doing clear nails. After the top coat has been applied, I'm going in with some dipped and dusted nails cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Oh my gosh, let me know what you guys think in the description. I love this set. It is so classy, so blingy, so beautiful. <laughs> And I love this set, I really do. I love how um, simple it is and I really like the colors that I chose to make the ombre. It's very simple and subtle and I really like the colors on myself. If you guys are interested in this McCart poly gel kit, the link for it will be in the description. I absolutely love all the colors and I love how shimmery it is. It's just so beautiful. Um, tomorrow I am doing a Christmas live stream, probably sometime around like in the evening. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'll let you guys know when I am about to start the live stream. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas Eve and I hope you guys have a great Christmas. So that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.